Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm just going to take you through the process of drying out all of these beautiful, beautiful flowers and turning them into some coasters. Um, so I'm just going to take you through step by step on how I managed to make them. So as you can see here, I'm just cutting up all the flowers and also just taking off any dead petals. This also helps with the pressing process, is that I can actually flatten them out much more than I could if they had all these petals in the flower still. So you can see me just taking them off from the bottom and also the bud in the middle as well. That helps just spread out the flower a bit more whilst I press them in my flower press. As you can see here we took apart some of the flowers so we could just have individual petals so here you can see my sister Joanna just adding the petals to the silica um, what I'll do below in the caption is put everything that I've used where I've bought it from um, so that you can have a try at home uh, pressing your flowers and turning them into coasters so here you can see us just doing a thin layer of petals in the silica After about 30 minutes, these big roses are pressed and ready to go into the silica. We're moving on to like the berries and the smaller petals drying out. And what we'll do with the berries is just pierce them slightly so that they dry out a bit better and then just put them in a cup like we're doing here with these petals. Do you want a flower in your hair? Oh, <laughs> gorgeous. so gorgeous. So oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, feel it, girl. <laughs> Just like this. Yeah, and then you put them here, you see? And then you start taking off all the dead ones. Yeah? Can you see what I'm doing? You want to smell? Oh, smells gorgeous. Yeah. Nice. Good job, Haz. Good job. Continuing with pressing with our flower press, we're just putting some little roses in here. I also use a big book which I just sat on, so maybe give that a go at home and just let me know if that really works for you too. Again, after 30 minutes, these flowers are ready to come out of the flower press. So when we were doing this, we didn't actually know if it was gonna work or not, but with a cocktail stick, we just pierced through these berries. So we thought when we put it into the silica that it, the moisture will be sucked out a little bit easier. So it's not so um, moist. I know people hate that word, I hate that word, but it's berries. So we just pierced them like you can see here, and then we just added them to the silica to dry them out. So now, as you can see here, we are taking all the flowers out of the silica. It has been seven days and all the flowers have dried out. So we're just taking them out and then we're gonna give them a brush to get rid of all like the sandy parts of it. Be extremely gentle when you're trying to get the flowers out of the silica because they are so flaky that some, some flowers do fall apart, it's inevitable. Um, but as you can see here, just slow and steady wins the race. Um, and then you can see the beautiful, beautiful rose that comes out now. I just think these are absolutely stunning and I'm so happy that they dried out so well um, with this silica. So here you can see me using an old makeup brush just to brush away all of the silica sand that is still inside of the petal. Give it a little shimmy as well just to get them out because you don't want that uh, curing in your resin coasters. 
So now time for the exciting part. This is where we are going to be putting the flowers into our resin. So as you can see here, I am just putting my resin into these circular molds. I use craft resin and I'll put a link below of where you can get that from. Um, it's a one to one ratio, but I just find it's one of the clearest resins to use. And when I'm working with flowers, I don't wanna be seeing any bubbles. Um, so yeah, it's a good resin to use. And as you can see here, we are just adding the different kinds of uh, flowers, petals, foliage to our circular moulds. Um, be really gentle with this process, they are still very dainty flowers um, so just be very very gentle when prodding them or anything like that. Um, it's going to take a while because these are going to be very chunky coasters um, so day by day we are just adding another layer of resin to these uh, coaster moulds. Throughout this process, I cannot tell you enough. A heat gun is needed. If you want the clearest of resin, you need a heat gun. This eliminates any little bubbles that are appearing around the edges. And also, as you can imagine, when you're putting in the flowers, um, it creates bubbles, like little air pockets in between the petals. So when you've got a heat gun, it just eliminates them um, nice and quickly. Um, also use like a little cocktail stick just to prick the bubble, just to release all the air. Um, but yeah, you definitely need to invest in a heat gun. Um, and I've linked it below in the caption. So once I finish layering my coasters uh, with resin day by day, filling them right to the top, after 24 hours of the last pour, I am able to take them out of the coaster moulds. And I am super, super thrilled with how these have come out. These are such beautiful flowers. I absolutely love the colour of these red roses. Um, you can see how chunky they are as well. Um, they could definitely take someone out if you threw them at someone. Um, but yeah, I hope this video has helped you if you're thinking about drying out some garden flowers or anything like that and popping them into some coast, coaster moulds. Um, if you've got any questions, um, please ask me, guys. I love answering all your questions. Um, I'm also over on Instagram as well, Primrose Designs UK. Um, just drop me a DM and I can answer as many questions as I can for you. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for all your continued support and hopefully I'll be coming back with a, another video soon. Just another reminder, just to go and look up my how to sand and polish coasters because this is the final process of uh, just finishing off these floral ones. Um, so go and give that video uh, a little like and a comment um, and I will see you guys soon for another video. Thank you so much guys, bye!